Poppy K and her bookish thoughts Adventures with ogres and astronauts Poppy K and her bookish thoughts Poppy K, subscribe, like, comment and share My reading vlog today we are going to be reading the or rereading the fourth wing because today I am getting the second book the iron flame so I've started reading rereading this <clears throat> I'm annotating it this time so I have got my bits of washi tape and and whatnot in here and little things highlighted Obviously, it's a reread, so I know what happens. I'm like, when did I read this? I read this springtime. I have got a video of me reading it. I'll put it up here. Or well, there is a video of me mentioning it, <laughs> mentioning it. So we're following Violet, who whose mother is one of the top dogs in the Dragon Flyers section. This society. And she has been studying all her life to become a scribe. Her father was a scribe. And unfortunately, her father passes away, which then means her mother has basically said, you're not going to become a scribe. You're going to become a dragon rider. And she's like, but I've been training all my life to become a scribe. And her mum's like, nope, that's it. You are becoming a dragon rider that's it basically we have a relationship but we don't have a relationship anymore you do as i say you do what everybody else tells you and that's all there is to it so off she goes and into the dragon riders sect and she has to complete certain tasks and there are a lot of people that die and every day they do a roll call of who's died or is it every week i think it's every day so every day or every week, I can't quite remember. And uh, her best friend is in there, who she's known for a long time. But also there's somebody in there who wants to kill her because of her mum. Because her mum has basically killed a lot of these people's either parents, family members and things like that. Or has conscripted them to become a dragon rider. Dane, who is the best friend, I didn't see it at first. But people were comparing this to Akatar. I didn't really see it at first, I was like, what? but on the reread, I can actually see it now. How Dane is very similar in certain aspects as Tamlin was in Akatar. So I can see that now. And Zane, I think that's how you say his name. Is it Zane? Dane and I can't remember what the other guy's name is. Anyway, the other dude, oh, I'll got to go to work so I'm, I'm rushing this really yeah so he to me is very much like Rizand Rizand you know who I mean an actor so I can kind of see where people have drawn the similarities because at first I was like well I don't see it but on the reread I do see it so anyway when I've got a little bit more time and I get back from work I shall sit and talk to you a bit more about this
my god i tell you what that um oh what do they call it imogen what a bitch right now they're doing this thing called the presentation which basically they've got to climb up this massive precipice or whatever this massive mountain and there's certain things they've got to do on the way up and she has said uh, violet has said that she's too short now being of only five foot myself i know how being short can be a complete and total pain in the ass however this is what she says to her right she says good luck today imogen tucks an errant strand of pink hair behind her ears and aims a sickly sweet smile right at me Hopefully you won't fall short. I would have punched her in the face. Oh, although she does come back, Violet says, "See you later." <laughs> yeah, you go, girl. Right. <laughs> earlier on I was saying that I can just about see where the similarities between Dane and Tamlin are well here here's an example of what of what it was he's they're going into this presentation thing and he's basically been badgering Violet to change course and go back to being a scribe and he says change your mind it's barely a whisper. No, I sound I sound way more confident than I feel. Change your mind. His hands find mine, concealed by our tight formation, as we descend through the passage. Please. I can't, I shake my head. Any more than you could leave Kath and run to the scribes yourself. He says, that's different. I'm a rider. Well, maybe I am too. And then um, blah, 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 blah. Um, she says, maybe I am too. I whisper as light appears ahead. I didn't believe it before. Not when I couldn't leave because my mother wouldn't let me. But now I have a choice and I choose to stay. And then he says, please don't do this. And she's just like, no, nah, mate, I've made my decision. And then it says here, what changed between the parapet and now? This is Dane asking her this. And her answer is simple and quick. Me. 
and I love that and I think that's where I'm getting the Tamlin thing he really doesn't want her to become a rider for some reason I can't quite remember what it is but he doesn't want her to become a rider and now she's like well I'm here now I might as well go for it you know so I think that's where my my the similarities are you know because Tamlin was quite oppressive in the second book wasn't he I and mean, he basically wanted to keep her locked in the in the house and he wouldn't let her go anywhere would he so this is where I'm sort of getting that sort of vibe anyway that's just my and it's Zayden by the way I couldn't remember could I earlier on it's Zayden two stops away It is two stops away. Am I excited? I can't wait to see what happens next. Obviously. I've got... I'm probably about a third of the way through my reread. So hopefully I'll get that finished tonight. If not tonight, definitely tomorrow. And then I can start tomorrow. And then I'll probably do this vlog in two parts. Because I don't think I'm going to have time. If I wasn't at work, I would definitely just read for the whole day. And then upload it on Thursday. But unfortunately, I've got work and I've got charity stuff to do as well so that isn't going to happen so it's going to have to be in two parts so but so far i might as well talk to you while i'm waiting so far um i can definitely definitely see the similarities between tamlin and dane it's horrible because you start off really liking them then you just end up hating them and i'm not i just want to say shut up man what are you talking about just be quiet let her get on with it let her do what she wants to do she's accepted it and so should you the wrong one. I always go to next door.
finished and so we've got I've just finished the fourth wing reread this or next week is going to be iron flame so my thoughts well basically I am hoping that Dane gets his comeuppance in this book in the next book because that guy is a complete and total a-hole do not like him at all and obviously I probably won't say what happens right at the end just in case you haven't read it but that relationship I would like to see um, what happens and I just hope that after graduation and things like that that the characters develop a little bit more so I'm really looking forward to reading the next the next section I tell you what though the uh the sex scenes in here are quite hot. Um, I mean, they're not they're not the worst, <laughs> but you know. Anyway, so yeah, that is me. I've literally just had a shower, finished that. I'm going to start Iron Flame. I'm very very excited, and I will see you next week. So to be continued.